is the leader, the head, the master of all the demons. Is the master of all the sinners. And Satan doesn't give his spare key to any demon. He doesn't give his spare key to any man. He takes the master key away while he's looking for other people to bring in. The only one who can open that cage in his presence or in his absence is the Lord Jesus Christ. Is the, is the one that said, I have the key of death and hell. And so Jesus only is the one that can open that cage whether the devil is there looking or the devil is not there absent, Jesus has the key to open that cage for you tonight. Look, look at Proverbs chapter 5 verse 22. In Proverbs chapter 5 verse 22. His own iniquity shall take the wicked himself. And he shall be holding, shall be held, shall be bound, shall be tied up with the cords of his sin. When the devil takes a man or takes a woman, the sin in your life, the evil in your life, the dirty, dirty things in your life, the, the things that the devil makes into a cord and then ties your hand, ties your feet, ties your mind, ties everything in your life. And then when you are tied by the cords of your own sin, he puts you into the cage. That the reason Christ and Christ alone, the one who can untie and lose the cord. And when Jesus says yes in your life, no demon, no devil can say no. Because why losing that? person over their tied to the pole. Jesus said, if anybody asks you that question, if any demon asks that question, if any Satan, any devil asks that question, just say, the Lord has need of him. Tonight, the Lord has need of you. He wants to pour into your life, abundant life. He wants to pour into your life, eternal life. He wants to pour into you, heavenly life. You're welcome. You're welcome. Say, I will come. And the Lord, and the Lord will receive you. In Revelation chapter 18. Revelation chapter 18, I'm looking at verse 2. Revelation chapter 18, verse 2. And he cried mightily with a strong voice. Saying, Babylon the great is falling, is falling. And it's become the habitation of devils. And the hold of every foul spirit. 
look at this and a cage a cage a cage of every unclean and cageful bird Babylon the whole of Babylon from the head to the toe Babylon in the day in the night Babylon at that time at this time is a cage and all the people of the world because of the courts of their sins that bound them Babylon has become a cage of every unclean and hateful bird and that Babylon is falling the falling world the falling people the evil sinful people they all belong to that cage there is only one name from heaven given among men that can open that cage that can set free every captive there Jesus the Savior the healer the deliverer the redeemer you come out of the cage tonight I said you will come out of the cage tonight Galatians chapter 5 I'm reading from verse 19 in Galatians chapter 5 verse 19 now the works of the flesh are manifest what are the things people do that brings them into that cage of the devil and anyone in that cage will have an aborted life life will not be as exciting as it should be as happy as it should be as joyful as, as it should be when the life is aborted and abated life will not have the quality of life it ought to have what are those six people do that makes them have a butted life, a baited life? Now, now, in this world, at this time, at the present time, not for the not the, for the olden days. Even at the time in which we live, what are the things that abates people's lives? Aborts people's lives. Look at them, look at them. Adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lasciviousness. Look at verse 20. Idolatry idolatry when somebody goes to a shrine to the forest or maybe in your home you have a corner there you make a shrine and you're worshiping idol you're going to have an aborted life and then it talks about witchcraft aborted life hatred aborted life variance emulations wrath strife anger fighting violence you have abated aborted life seditions heresies then in verse 21 envies the murders and drunkenness revelings and such like 
of the which I tell you before. As I also have told you in time past, that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. The kingdom of God, that's where you have abundant life. The kingdom of God, that's your heart. That's where you have abounding life. And those who do not enter into the kingdom of God, they have aborted life, abated life. But today, we're going to make a transfer. The Lord will transfer you out of that useless life and bring you into the abundant life tonight in Jesus' name. Many, many years ago, I was going to a particular school. And it was just, just like going to school. There wasn't real education there. There wasn't any progress there. Nobody passed out of that school and then comes to live a good life, for an employed life, an employable life. We well, were just there. As a young boy, I loved the school. Why? A, a lot of play. A lot of you seen uh, color water, uh, color water or something to paint and all. I loved it. But, but my father saw that if I continue in that school, I'll be nobody here in the world. And he looked. He looked for a school where they had real teaching, learning. And he took me out of that school. I said, why? My friends are there. The watercolor for coloring is there. All the crayon for painting and drawing colorful things are there. My father said, you won't understand now, but I'm transferring you out of this school to that school. Praise the Lord, I was transferred. And I came to a real school. If I wasn't transferred, you will never have known me. I will never have known you. It's the transfer of that time that got me to where I am now. If you are not transferred out of that cage where you are now, heaven will never know you. You will never know joy. You will never know happiness. You will never know abundant life, a better life. Praise the Lord, your transfer has come. Out of sin to the Savior. Out of the abated, abort, aborted life to abundant life tonight. Out of sorrow into joy. Out of bad, bad things into good, good things. Because they that do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Are you coming? I said, are you coming to Christ? Remember, while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. He died for you. He'll take your guilt away. He'll take your sorrow away. 
and then he'll transfer you out of darkness to his marvelous light. He's calling you now and you will respond. He's calling you and you will come. Point number three now. We're looking at his call to the abounding light. His call to the abounding life. Abounding life has many composite members. <coughs> it's calling you to salvation. It's calling you to healing. For life in entirety. For life in entirety. He calls you. Thank God you're welcome. I say thank God you're welcome. When Christ called the blind man, he received his sight. When Christ called the sinner, because he said, I came to call sinners to repentance. He received salvation when the poor is called by the Lord. He receives a joyful life provided for, sufficient to meet all his needs. And when Christ calls, he saves, he heals, he delivers, he protects, he gives the supernatural to everyone that responds to that call. His call to the abounding life. Look at this, Matthew chapter 11, I'm reading from verse 28. Matthew 11, verse 28. Come unto me. Come unto me. He didn't say, Come unto Peter. Come unto John. Come unto Saint Augustine. No. He didn't say, Come unto the priest. A come unto Mary. No. Christ is the only Savior. Christ is the healer. And thank God the healer is in the house. And therefore he says, you want salvation? You want happy life? victorious life you want freedom and you want miracle you want the power that to hold you up to the abounding life come unto me all ye that labor and are heavy laden and I will give you rest I will give you restoration. Restoration to the original life God wanted it will take away. And he give you rest. Abundant life tonight. Eternal life tonight. Righteous life tonight. Forgiveness and freedom tonight. Your time has come. Look at verse 29 there. Take my yoke upon you. When we were in the cage, we had the yoke of the one that put us in the cage. He says, remove that yoke. 
all the covenant you made with that evil society, renounce that yoke. The habit of sinfulness, break that yoke. Come out of that. Turn away from your sin. Repent of every form of evil. And then take his yoke upon you. And learn of me. There's a lot you need to learn of Christ. That's why tonight is not the final night for you. You have life tonight. Eternal life tonight. Salvation tonight. Abundant life tonight. And then you now continue to learn of Christ. It says, for I am meek and lowly in heart. And ye shall find rest unto your souls. Everyone that comes, there's a restoration. There's a rest. There is the righteousness that he gives. A redemption that he gives. And he said, as you come. You'll not be searching and searching and searching. You'll find rest, restoration, redemption unto your souls. And then, and then in verse 30, for my yoke is easy. It's when you try to live the life of abundant life without having the grace of God, it becomes irksome, difficult. But when you have Christ, the yoke breaker in your life, the one that sets free, the one that gives you salvation and gives you restoration, when you have that Christ in you, my yoke is easy and my body is light. The Lord is calling you. I said the Lord is calling you. I said the Lord is calling you. And tonight you are going to have new life. Tonight you are going to have total freedom. Tonight, we are going to have salvation. And of course, we are going to have healing. You are going to have miracle. As you come, as you come, they will do it for you. Amen. Look at 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 24. First Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 24. Faithful is he that calleth you, who also will do it. He has provided salvation. And is calling you to salvation. Faithful is he that calleth you, calleth you, calleth you, is calling you right now, who also will do it. It's calling you to a better life, a higher life, a productive life. It's calling you to that abundant eternal life. And faithfully see that call at you. Who also will do it? You hate that useless life of the past. And then you hate all the dwindling life, abated, aborted life of the past. See, I want the life that comes from Christ directly. I want the life that comes from his death, from Calvary. And now he grants me that free life, 
forgiven life, new life. I want that. I'm faithful, faithful yesterday, faithful today, faithful tomorrow. His name is Amen. I'm faithful. I'm faithful. You see that call at you. Who also will do it. He's calling you now. You're welcome. And as you come, it will provide that life for you now. It'll turn your life around. You will never be the same again. A change will come. A transformation will come. As you come now. As you come now. Reject darkness. Come to the light. Reject your sin. Come to the Savior. Reject evil. And come to the Lord tonight. He will do it. Amen. Amen for you. Amen for everyone. The Lord will do it now. It's, it's bowed, it's bowed and eyes closed. It's bowed and eyes closed. You have heard he's calling you. Your life in the past till today has been a an aborted life, a baited life. The Lord has come to you, providing abundant, abounding life for you. And then he invites you and he says, come. And as you come, salvation will come to you today. You're receiving Christ as your personal Savior now. And anywhere you are, in front of me here, or somewhere over there, online, any country, every country, you've heard this calling you. You raise up your hand. You are saying, I want that abundant life. I want that new life. I want the life of Christ in me. Raise up that hand and say, yes, Lord, I'm here. Abundant life. Abundant life. He said, come unto me. All ye who labor on a heavy lady. And I will give you rest. Anywhere, raise up that hand. And come into that life right now. A change will happen. A transformation will happen. The joy of salvation will come to you. And the peace of God will reign in your heart. If you are raising up your hand, God bless you there. God bless you there. God bless you there. You're raising up your hand. You stand up. You identify yourself with the hand raised, standing up. Thank you, thank you. Quickly, quickly, stand up. If you're raising up your hand, you want life, eternal life. You want life, forgiven life. You want life, a life that is set free. A boy, a girl, a man, a woman, a church man, a church woman with a Christian name. Just raise up your hand and stand up. And then that abundant life is coming. As we're standing up, 
Open your mouth and tell the Lord. And say, Lord, I come. Very simple. I come. I come out of Babylon. I come out of my sin. I come out of all evil. I repent. I turn. I will not go back to those things anymore. And I come to Christ my Savior. I come to Christ. He is my Lord from now on. Lord, I come. Lord, I come. Faithfully see that call it you who also will do it. You'll give that eternal life now. You'll give that salvation now. I will give you rest. I'm going to pray with you now. Keep on standing up. As we pray. And you make this your prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for calling everyone. And everyone who responds, who comes to Christ, you will not push away or send away. So, Lord, I pray that all these who have come, and they come for new life in Christ. And they come for salvation in Christ. They come for rest and restoration through Christ. Lord, forgive their sins. Change their lives. Turn them around. And give them transformation. That the past life will be forgiven and forgotten. And the new life that you have given will be visible in every life in Jesus' name. Give them the grace. Give them the strength to now live in newness of life. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Keep on standing. The counselors are there. They want to put it on record that today you received eternal life, salvation, abundant life through Christ. We call on our national overseer in Togo here to lead us in this session of counseling. Don't go home yet. I'll come back to pray for your healing. Today is the date of your miracle and healing. You will put your name and you put it in capital letters so that we can read it very well. You put no, your phone number. You fill it according to what is written there. You just fill it. There are places you will just tick it. Do it quickly. The counselors, please help them.
you are now a member of the family of God. Do it quickly. Counselors, please help them. At the far, far back. To the French class everywhere. Counselor, please, if you finish, you let me know. You just make sign, then we know. Those who are online, you will see the number on your screen. You click that number and then you will feel the sleep online. You submit the sleep to the supervisors. No, the counselor will submit to the supervisors. You can do quick so that the pastor will come and pray for the sick. Counselors, do quick, do quick, be fast. At my right, have you finished? If you are finished, can you can you let me know? Just shake your flag there, then let me know. Okay. In the middle here, have you finished? Hurry up, hurry up. At the far back, you go to the far back. Help them, help them quickly. At my left, can, can you wave your this is I see?
Counselor, we are waiting. You feel the paper. Those that cannot feel it, help them to feel it. You feel it properly. It will help us to come to you later and help you. For you to grow. Yes, let me know if you are finished. In the French class, We are still waiting. You submit the sleep to the supervisor. You don't go home with it. Feel it, feel it quickly. Counselor, help them. They should write their phone number. Very important. If uh, you finish, you stay with them very soon. Pastor is coming to pray. You stay with the people that are sick. Counselor, we are waiting. Do quick. Go to the far back. Go to the French class.
listen to me very well. You don't know what you're saying. Tomorrow here, those who are giving their lives to the Lord Jesus Christ, you are now born again. Tomorrow afternoon, 2 o'clock, here, we have lunch with Christ. Lunch with Jesus Christ. Here on this, uh, this place, all that have given their life to Lord Jesus Christ, you come here tomorrow, 2 o'clock. For lunch with Jesus Christ. Yes, counselor, we are still waiting. Have you finished? Have you finished? Yes, over there is finished. Okay, at the back is finished. What of here? At my left hand, it's finished? It's okay. Now, uh, you will still be praying. Pastor is coming now. Stay with the people that are sick. Stay with them. You can stand up. Pastor is coming to pray for you now. Praise the Lord. Your time for healing and miracle, that time has now come. He calls you into miracle. Calls you into healing. He calls you into the manifestation of his power. Faithfully see that calleth you, who also will do it. You don't need to wait for another person. You catch your miracle, your healing, when you hear that final amen. If you are lame, you just rise up, you begin to walk. If you are blind, you open your eyes, you will see. Any problem you have, the Lord is by your side, taking that problem away right now. Final, amen, finish. Raise up, raise up one hand and lay the other hand where you have the challenge. He will do it. Are you ready? We're praying now. Lay your hand where you have the challenge. And raise up the other hand. Father, our God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, we know you are here already. Lord Jesus, our Savior, our healer, we know that you are here with all your power. Holy Spirit, with power divine, we know you are right there by everyone. Here and online, we're asking, Lord, that that power that never fails, will touch, transform, heal, deliver everyone now in Jesus' name. Lord, let there be manifestation of your power. 
a performance of your promise. You are the giver. We are the receivers. Let everyone receive right now in Jesus. Healed. Tuberculosis. Healed. Nightmares, evil spirits tormenting your head and your life be delivered in Jesus' name. Cancer, be healed in Jesus' name. All those cancer cells dry up now in Jesus' name. HIV AIDS, be healed in Jesus' name. Ulcer, be healed in Jesus' name. And that hernia be removed right now in Jesus' name. The breathing problem, you are healed in Jesus' name. Insanity and madness, I command that evil spirit, come out in Jesus' name. Elephantiasis or any other swelling in your body. I take authority over you. Be healed in Jesus' name. <laughs> Healing for everyone. <laughs> Deliverance for everyone. <laughs> Miracles for everyone. <laughs> you are faithful God. <laughs> you will do it. <laughs> you have done it. We have received. Lord, touch everyone with a touch of miracle. It is done. It is done. You are healed. You are delivered. In Jesus' name I pray. You see the miracle? Let there be a shout of joy. Hallelujah! C'est fait. It is done already. Now check yourself. Check yourself. Verify, verify. Ne partez pas. Don't go anywhere. Stay there. Don't go anywhere. Stay there. You hear miracle? Shout hallelujah. And then bring them, bring them, bring them, bring them. Check, 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 check. Verify. Verify. Check. Check yourself. You can't see before. Now open your eyes. You will see. You bring somebody that that who is not hearing. Speak to the person. Yeah, bring them out. Bring them out. Let them come here front. Sortez, venez devant. Sortez, venez devant. Come out, come out. Check yourself. Check your body. Voilà, voilà. That's it. Sortez, sortez, venez devant. Nous voulons voir ce que le Seigneur a fait. We want to see what the Lord has done. Here in the Alpha location, miracles everywhere. You can you can hear the joy. Verify, verify. Check your body. 
where you have the problem, where you are feeling the pain, check it. You will, you will not see it again. Who never fell? Who never fell? Who never fell? Who never fell? Verifié, verifié. Faites les sorties, amenez les devant. La douleur n'est plus là. L'hémorroïde n'est plus là. The pile is no more there. The pain is no more there. Faites les sorties. Bring them out. Come. Bring them. Commencez pas. Start uh, interviewing them. Start interviewing them. So that we see what the Lord has done. Vérifiez, continuez. Check your body. Check the place where you are having the, the challenge. It's no more there. Elephantiasi, vanish away. Check it, check it. Everywhere, check it. At the back, check it. Check it. You notice a miracle in your life? Shout hallelujah and come, come in front here to give the testimony. Vérifiez. Le Seigneur est dans le camp. The Lord is here. He's moving. He's touching people. You are touched already. Check yourself. You are not walking before. Just get up. You will walk. Bring them out, bring them out. Yes, interview them so that we can have uh, some of the testimony. Yes, let's listen to the, uh, our people here. Yes. Yes. 